I'm working through the momentum and impulse section in the 2019 physical science paper one and this question starts with question 1.1 this section starts with question 1.1 which reads as follows which physical quantity is equal to the rate of change of momentum and we know from the formula sheet that the rate of change of momentum or the rate of change of anything is the change of that thing over time and we can see from this formula that that would then be net force as the correct answer option c question 1.4 is also a momentum and impulse question it reads as follows two trolleys x and y of masses m and 2m respectively are held together by a compressed spring between them initially when they are stationary on a horizontal floor as shown below ignore the effects of friction the spring is now released and falls to the floor while the trolleys move apart the resultant excuse me the magnitude of the momentum of trolley x while it moves away is and as we know that since these objects were stationary to start with that means that the sum total of the initial momentum must be zero which since we have been told there is no friction that tells us then that the final momentum must also be zero now since one object is moving off in this direction with a certain momentum the only way in which this object can be moving off uh, in the opposite direction is if it has an exact opposite momentum so the magnitude of the momentum of trolley x must be exactly the same as the magnitude of the momentum of trolley y they haven't asked for the direction they've asked for magnitude only and so the correct answer there is option d question 1.5 an object is dropped from rest after falling a distance x its momentum is p ignore the effects of air friction the momentum of the object after it has fallen a distance 2x is and in order to answer this question we need to start with the formula vf squared is equal to vi squared plus 2g delta x where they tell us this object is dropped which tells us that the initial velocity must be zero and we can therefore rewrite an expression for our final velocity as 2g delta x where the initial object we have been told is has a momentum p and what matters here is the velocity because obviously the mass of this object does not change and so we say the velocity of this object after falling a distance x must be 2g times that distance x now for this object once it has fallen double that distance we can now rewrite this expression to say that is 2g times 2x because the distance is now doubled which gives us 2 times 2gx which as we can see is exactly or can be rewritten as 2 times 2gx or just 2 times this original velocity and that is note there that is a root 2 and so because we can now say that the new velocity is root 2 times bigger than the original velocity we can therefore safely say then that the new momentum is going to be root 2 times the initial momentum so the correct answer there option b then we go on to question four which is specifically related to impulse and momentum and question four reads as follows a bullet moves east at a velocity of 480 meters per second it hits a wooden block that is fixed to the floor the bullet takes 0.01 seconds to move through the stationary block and emerges from the block at a velocity of 80 meters per second that is to the east see the diagram below ignore the effects of air resistance consider the bullet block system as an isolated system question 4.1 explain what is meant by an isolated system as used in physics they specify as used in physics because we also have an isolated system in chemistry and the definition as given or as required is a system in which the net external force is zero very important that word net it is the net external force that is zero in an isolated system question 4.2 then reads the magnitude of the momentum of the bullet before it enters the block is 24 kilogram meters per second 4.2.1 calculate the mass of the bullet and since we know 
the momentum of the bullet. We also know the initial velocity of the bullet. We can use the simple formula P is equal to M times V. And since our momentum is given as 24, the mass is the unknown here. And the velocity given as 480 meters per second. That then allows us to rearrange and solve to find that the mass of this bullet is 0 0.05 and masses in physics are always given in kilograms. Important to note here once again that the equation must always be copied as is from the formula sheet, then the substitution must be done and then only may you rearrange. Please do not write the equation, then rearrange and then substitute. The only way that the marks are allocated is if the equation is written as given the values are substituted in to that equation as is and then rearrange and give the answer with the correct units. Question 4.2.2 then says, calculate the average net force exerted by the wooden block on the bullet. And immediately we know that when they're talking about a net force and we're dealing with momentum, we should be using Newton's second law in terms of momentum which we can write in one of two ways. Again, important to remember that this must be written as it is given in the formula sheet. In this case, that is F net delta T is equal to delta P. Now, we know that this formula can work because we have the initial velocity of the bullet. We have just calculated the mass of the bullet and we have the final velocity of the bullet. And as a result, that means we can calculate the change in momentum. And then because we have been given the amount of time that it took to make that change in momentum, we can calculate the net force. And so we do that as follows. F net multiplied by the time as given must always be in seconds, 0 0.01 seconds, is equal to the change in momentum, where we know that change in momentum is equal to the final momentum of that bullet multiplied, excuse me, uh, subtracted by the initial momentum, where that means the mass of the bullet multiplied by the final velocity minus the mass of the bullet multiplied by the initial velocity. Or we can rewrite this as mass multiplied by final minus the initial velocity. And that gives us an answer of 0 0.05. The mass, the final velocity, the velocity after this event is 80 minus the initial of 480. Note here that these steps are not all necessary it is only one of those steps that is necessary to show how you got to this substitution here and then we can solve to find that the net force acting on this object is negative 2000 newtons now we get that negative value because we have implicitly said that our initial direction is the positive direction because we have said that that is a positive value for velocity so a negative value here tells us that that net force is acting in the opposite direction which should make sense because in order for this bullet to slow down a force must be acting backwards on this bullet that would slow it down from 480 meters per second to 400. Now it is always advised that you rewrite this in the positive form so you would then write this as therefore we know that the net force is equal to 2000 newtons and that is in the negative direction which here has been given as west because the question has specified the net force they haven't asked for magnitude only there will be a mark awarded for the correct magnitude with the correct unit and there will also be a mark awarded for the correct direction again it is advised that you do not leave this answer in the negative form but rather rewrite it as a positive form in the negative direction